When Roman Grosjean exited Formula 1 to join Dale Coyne Racing for the 2021 IndyCar Series, it generated a ton of excitement. Dale Coyne has always been an underdog team, but with a guy like Grosjean behind the wheel, he could elevate the team to another level. His first season with Coyne, he raced 13 out of the 16 races, running only the road and street courses with the exception of Gateway, and he had an impressive run with Dale Coyne Racing. He scored his first IndyCar pole at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway's road course. He finished the weekend strong with his first podium and career best second place finish. He would score three podiums in 2021 and finish 15th in the final standings despite missing those three oval races, including the Indy 500, which was a double points event. His on-track success and excitement earned him IndyCar's most popular driver award for the 2021 season. This gave the opportunity for Grosjean to move on to one of the top teams in the IndyCar series. As he joined Andretti Autosport for the 2022 season, taking over the number 28 DHL ride previously driven by longtime Andretti driver Ryan Hunter Ray, a team that has won both the IndyCar Series Championship and the Indianapolis 500. This generated a ton of buzz as Grosjean was now in a fully funded top tier ride of the series, so there is no telling what success this partnership might generate. Unfortunately, things don't always go to plan in motor racing and Grosjean did not find the success in 2022 that he would have hoped for. A main reason for his struggles was the car itself. Although IndyCar is a spec series, the philosophies of setting up the car's components such as dampers and suspension can be drastically different from team to team. Grosjean claimed the Andretti cars had too much rear grip, which in turn led to lots of understeer. The Dale Coyne car fit his driving style much better. His Andretti team worked hard to make the cars better for Grosjean, but never could quite replicate the feel that he was looking for. Grosjean's first full-time IndyCar season resulted in him placing 13th in the final standings, only two places up from his 2021 results with Coyne, where he did not race the full season. He scored one podium at the third race of the year in Long Beach and never scored any pole positions. Grosjean looked to improve drastically in 2023, and he started the season off strong during the first round in St. Petersburg by scoring the pole position for the opening race of the 2023 IndyCar season. He was fast all weekend, leading 31 laps in the race, and was in an intense battle for the win with Team Penske's Scott McLaughlin. It looked to be a two-horse race until the two made late race contact which put Roman Grosjean into the wall, ending his day and hopes for his first ever IndyCar Series victory. The second race of the season at Texas Motor Speedway saw him running in the top five with two laps to go before getting into some dirty air and making contact with the outside wall. Despite running strong in the first two races of the season, he did not get the results he deserved but he would follow up those results with a pole position and back-to-back second-place finishes, equaling his best career result. It was after these two races where Andretti would offer Grosjean a contract extension to stay with the team. Grosjean signed the contract, but Andretti never signed the contract back confirming the deal. Rumors were also circulating that longtime Andretti sponsor DHL was looking to leave the team. This was officially confirmed in September 2023. It is believed that DHL would be going to Chip Ganassi Racing to sponsor the defending champion Alex Pillow. This makes even more sense seeing Alex's sponsor American Legion will be on the number 8 Ganassi entry driven by rookie of the year candidate Linus Lundquist. This left Grosjean without a sponsor. He also had several on-track run-ins with other drivers and he made a lot of mistakes behind the wheel. After those back-to-back -back runner-up finishes, he would only score one more top 10 finish for the rest of the entire season. This left him being criticized by car owner Michael Andretti, who said the following, and I quote, He tends to push it when he doesn't have the car. Instead of bringing it home in 10th, he tries to push it to 9th and finishes 28th. That's been really frustrating on our side. We've had a talk about it and we'll see how the rest of the year goes. He's fast, pleasant guy, great guy, but when it's negative comments about the team, 
yeah, that's frustrating. And it's not even just me. The guys, they take it to heart because they're busting their asses. Everyone makes mistakes. He made his share as well. I think that's where romance sometimes has a problem, controlling his adrenaline. Once he calms down, he's more measured. But in the heat of the moment, I think he has a problem. It's probably been his biggest downfall while he's been here. At this point, it's pretty clear that there was some friction between Grosjean and the Andretti team. He finished 13th in the standings for the second consecutive year, and by the time Andretti decided they were not going to sign and confirm Grosjean's contract extension, and that they would be releasing him from the team, it was already September 2023 and a lot of seats for the 2024 season have already been filled leaving Grosjean with limited options for a 2024 IndyCar Series ride. This left people speculating that he would either return to Dale Coin Racing or focus fully on the Lamborghini hypercar program that he is a driver for that will be competing in WEC and IMSA. Grosjean has since taken legal action against Andretti regarding the contract extension that was not honored by the team. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, there's lots of information on that if you do a quick Google search. Junko's Hollinger Racing agreed to mutually part ways with driver Callum Isla. This left a vacant seat at the team. Nearly a month to the day, it was announced in early November 2023 that Grosjean would join the team for the 2024 IndyCar season. Junko's Hollinger Racing is still trying to establish itself and its IndyCar program. The team has been around since 2017 but has not been a full-time team in its current capacity until 2022. Could this be Grosjean's last hope at continuing his career in the IndyCar series? He stated that this is where he wants to be. If he can achieve some great results like he did at COIN, it may open up some doors to the bigger teams once again. If that does become a reality, I personally think it'll be with Ganassi. But before we get ahead of ourselves, he needs to show the results with Junkos. If he has another mediocre season, this may be the exit door for Grosjean out of his series. This would be a real shame honestly, as Grosjean is a fan favorite and he truly is a great guy. I've seen this firsthand over the last few years attending the Honda Indy Toronto. He makes time for everyone who wants a quick chat or picture and he will come out in the paddock and sign autographs for as long as his schedule allows him. IndyCar needs more drivers like Grosjean. The lasting impression he leaves on fans will be remembered forever. Here's hoping that the Junko's car is more suited to his driving style, similar to how the coin car was. This will also be his first time using a Chevrolet engine, as his previous two teams ran Honda engines. I'm sure Chevrolet is going to be proud to have added Grosjean to their IndyCar roster. The Junko's Hollinger team has never had a driver with the experience that Grosjean brings, so here's hoping he can elevate the team and bring home some great results to secure his future in the IndyCar series. Now. I'm going to pass it over to you guys. Do you think this is Roman Grosjean's last opportunity at staying in IndyCar? Do you think he could deliver great results? Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. That will wrap up today's video and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like what you saw here today, hit that subscribe button for more IndyCar series content. If you want to support the channel and get early access to all my videos, consider becoming a channel member. It helps me out drastically, but either way, I'm happy you're here to watch this video. That's all for now, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone.